And now the greenhouse effect. <laughs> um, but finally, maybe possibly for the first time in your life, you actually have the equations, you're equipped with the equations to actually do some calculations with this, right? And that's, that's what we're heading for here. Okay, so first let me just explain what the greenhouse effect is, and then we can, we can look at some calculations, okay? But let me, you know, step by step, because this, I, I think just people are like, uh, carbon dioxide traps heat, and that's all there is to it, right? But um, that's not a thorough understanding, and uh, it's not gonna get you very many marks, right? It is true, carbon dioxide does trap heat, but you need to understand how this works, okay? So understand that we've got the sun radiates to the earth, okay? That's our first thing, the sun radiates heat to the earth, to earth, right? Right, well, the peak radiation, the peak wavelength is about 501 nanometers, right? So this is solidly visible light, right? There's some infrared, there's also some ultraviolet, right? But this is very short wavelength, right? On the order of a micrometer, right? 900 nanometers would be like uh, one micrometer. Okay, a thousand, or a thousand nanometers would be one micrometer. So this is very short wavelength, right? Okay, so that's our first step, right? Uh, the atmosphere is transparent, largely passes short wavelength. So that stuff goes sailing right through the, the Earth's atmosphere, right? The, the atmosphere is transparent to short wavelengths, right? So therefore, it strikes the Earth, right? Now remember, the sun is at roughly 5,800 kelvins, right? The sun strikes the Earth, so the, 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 the sun, the, the energy, the light, heats the, the Earth's surface, right? Right, so that's that's our next step, right? So the light will heat the Earth's surface, right? And the Earth will be, reach a temperature somewhere around uh, 300 kelvins, right? It's like 288 or something like that, right? Okay, understand that the, 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 um, the next step is that the, the surface radiates long wavelengths, yeah, okay? The this, this surface radiates long wavelengths. This is infrared, right? Near infrared, all of those things, right? Why is it long wavelengths? Well, now you, now you understand, right? Look at this thing, the wavelength, right, is the, this constant divided by the temperature. So if you divide by 5800, you get a small wavelength. So this is small, small, wavelengths coming from the sun, right? The stuff coming from the earth is long wavelength, okay? That's infrared. Why is it long? Because the temperature is lower. And if you divide this constant by a smaller temperature, you get a longer wavelength, okay? And then the final step, right, is that the atmosphere, at most sphere, greenhouse gases, Right, and what are they? Well, CO2 is one, right? Uh, methane, right, CH4. Methane is one, and there's, there's a number of other gases, right, that specifically can pass short wavelengths, but they absorb infrared. Why do they absorb infrared? Well, it has to do with resonance, right? Carbon dioxide resonates at the frequency of infrared light. It doesn't resonate at the frequency of, of visible light. That's too high a frequency, it can't resonate but it does resonate at infrared light at frequencies, right? And so therefore it absorbs it. Resonate means to vibrate, right? Remember, you, you play the right pitch, okay? So CO2 molecules are just like a, like a little wine glass. They've got a particular frequency that they resonate at. So this stuff actually has a particular resonance in the infrared range, and so it heats up, it vibrates. Vibration is heat, right, okay? It absorbs the IR and re-radiates it back to Earth. It also re-radiates it into space, right? back to Earth. Now, this is good news. The, Earth's, the Earth would be very, very cold without some greenhouse effect. It's, some greenhouse effect is needed for you know, there to be liquid water on the surface of the Earth and life. Okay? The problem is that, that uh, you know, just a little bit will do you, right? And we're just pumping scads of carbon dioxide uh, into the atmosphere, right? Um, we're also just sort of, you know, like a blasting uh, methane into the atmosphere, which is really, really sad because methane is, not as long-lived as carbon dioxide, but it is a very intense greenhouse gas, like, I don't know, it's, I don't know, it's like 10 times or something like that, okay? 
So these are the basic things, right? The sun radiates short wavelength to the Earth. Short wavelengths can go right through the atmosphere. But when the Earth re-radiates into space, it re-radiates at long wavelengths because it's not as hot as the sun. It's a good thing, right? Okay. And so it, it's radiating this infrared and the greenhouse gases absorb infrared. And that's, you know, and that's what we're doing is we're increasing the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. Thereby, we're increasing the temperature of the Earth because we're, we're increasing this step right here. Okay. That's the greenhouse effect. Um, and you can take a look at, um, at this, right? Uh, at the temperature of the sun, we are, um, these are the wavelengths that you get, right? Okay, and then uh, the temperature of the earth, these are the wavelengths that you get. So infrared, mid-infrared, um, that's, that's what you're getting mostly. Okay, so that is how the, the greenhouse uh, effect works. 